I can refer to some of the interesting work that has been done over the last, say, half century or so, where we've begun to peel back the, the curtains, the veil, if you will, on this world. And we know that, for example, there were great ice sheets. We have to more than double the amount of ice that's present in the world, glacial ice that's present in the world today. And by doing that, we drop sea levels by 400, maybe even more, maybe up to 450 feet. Well, when you drop sea levels, we're now exposing all of the shallow coastal plains that surround all the continents. That was now prime habitable real estate, not only for the mammalian life that was so prevalent during the late Pleistocene, but most likely for human societies as well, right? Coastlines would have been a natural place because number one, you would have had access to a marine environment. So it would have been a natural place for, just like when we look at the rise of modern civilization, first thing we see is that villages and then towns and eventually cities show up along river valleys and on coastlines. And quite often where rivers meet the coastline. That particular geographic framework provided the foundation for setting up, you know, networks of trade. In the aftermath of these concentrated events that ended the Ice Age, the and, and they were particularly focused in that stage that we call the Younger Dryas, what we find is that not only did the half of the great megafaunal species on Earth disappear, you couldn't have an event of that severity and not also affect the human species.